To Vat's day and night both seem particularly short. The skies here are full of stars, but they aren't the same as the ones back home. I wonder if the fates of people from Tevat are also related to their constellations. Oh? Do you know how to read the stars too? That's amazing! Not a lot of people outside Zumaru can do it! Pilot's curious. Come on, do a reading for me, quick! Hmm... The night sky pictured on Paimon's cape flows with the light of many stars, and also of the deep ocean. The movement of these stars tells me that, uh, in, say, seven days from now... <gasps> in seven days what? Something good or something bad might occur. <laughs> right. Your theory sounds as rock solid as a geo slime, and about as brainy, too. Come to think of it, while Rex Lapis enjoys visiting his people in private, he only descends officially once every year. None of the other gods do this. Hmm. Does Rex Lapis have any deeper intentions? I have my guesses. You see, those annual divine predictions have already captured the hearts of the people of Liyue too much. Round and around, they analyze and scrutinize every single word, finding limitless hidden meanings within them. What do you think would happen to Liyue if such divine predictions were available every day? Ah! Paimon gets it now! Paimon would be offering Rex Lapis's favorite snacks to him every day! If you could just get Mora straight from Morax's hands, who would ever need to do a day of honest work? You made... some logical leaps. But that's basically how it is. <laughs> <laughs>